Hey, what's up guys? This is Jesse with the Desert Pandas Off-Road Crew. And I wanted to take a moment today to make a video on how I do, or how I go about creating um, all of our maps for the trails and for the trips that we take. Um, it's not rocket science. Uh, as a matter of fact, some of the experienced people out there would think that maybe I'm doing it in a very Mickey Mouse way, but it's okay, it works for me. And if you're starting out and wondering how to do this, I guarantee it'll work for you too. Um, a couple of the sites that I use that I really like and really um, vouch for are Trails Off-Road and All Trails. Um, and then of course Google is where I sort of organize everything and then um, GPS Visualizer is another site that I use to put everything together to be ready to upload. Um, anyways, that all sounds foreign I'm sure, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, let's, let's, let's get started. Um, so. Like anything else, when you're going out and going off-roading, you need to be prepared. You need to have your off-road recovery equipment, you need to have fuel, you need to have water, etc. But if you don't know where you're going, you're going to get lost and you're going to have a bad time. So this hopefully will help some of you um, get out and be able to explore in a successful manner. Um, I want to start off with trails off-road. And it says, welcome back Jesse, because I am a subscriber. I really believe in this site. I love this site. I like the guy's content. The, they, they seem like nice people. If I saw them on the trail, I would definitely sit, stop and say what's up and hang out. Um, but uh, this is a great site. Highly recommend paying the $25 to $30 for the yearly subscription. I mean, it's nothing, right? I lose $30 of change in my couch throughout the year. So um, this gives a lot back. Um, anyways, I'm not going to give you a full run through of this site necessarily, but I will show you the things that I like about it. So, I mean, you can... If you don't know where to start, you can always do a drop down of state, uh, states and just select the state that you're in. And if I select California, uh, a map of California pops up. And as I start to dive into it a little bit, you can see it expand and you can see all the trails that, it, that are in the site. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to use a search box and I'm going to type in for Coyote Valley, which I know is, oops, misspelled it. Sorry, holding the camera with one hand and trying to type with the other while looking at both screens at the same time. Anyways, here we are. So, Coyote Valley Road. Now the site's taking me here. Coyote Valley Road. And of course it's gonna have a notice, trails may be closed due to, due to uh, COVID-19, etc. cetera. Um, anyways. I'm going to reserve my comments on that. Uh, Coyote Valley Road. So I want to show you a little bit about the site here and what the, you know, the parts that I like. So right off the bat, it gives you a full rundown and a breakdown of the trail. It tells you when it's open, you know, the difficulty. Uh, they have a rating system in here, so it's, it's really good. Um, the length, where it's at, nearest town, etc. Um, and then over here, there is a map. And on the map, you see these red dots, these are waypoints. Two, three, four, five, these are different waypoints. Um, and I'll show you why those are cool in a second. But I'm gonna scroll down a little further and I wanna show you here that here's where you would click to download the GPX file and that's exactly what we came here to do. Except I'm not gonna do it just yet because I wanna show you some more. Um, directions to the trail, um, Remove from favorites because I favorited this. This is a place I've been wanting to come to for a while now and I'm going to finally do it. Um, print. This is cool. This is to print. For anybody who still likes to have paper maps, you can print that. Um, anyways, going to go keep scrolling. I love this about this site is that it gives you highlights. It gives you a highlight, a rundown, a write up of exactly what you can expect out there. Um, and 99% of the videos or the trails, I'm sorry, the trails I've come across have a video as well that you can see a vehicle in action on so you can see if you are ready to take on the terrain or not. Um, keep going down. This is also an awesome piece to the site, which is the weather forecast. Seven day. So some sites only give you one or two days. Um, this gives you a seven day forecast. So you'll know that this afternoon it's 86, dropping to 57. Tomorrow's 92 to 60, et cetera. So you can plan your trips and you know, if you're trying to go somewhere where it's gonna be 110, maybe you know you don't wanna do that. Um, maybe if it's gonna be below 30, you maybe wanna plan a different trip. So this is great. Um, route information, advanced rating system. So 
above just being three to four moderate, it gives you, it starts to give you, you know, uh, you're gonna get body damage, is there width problems? Um, no problems on this trail. Impassable when wet, it'll say, deep sand and high water crossings, um, depending on time of year. So anyways, if you were to go through this, it gives a description again, and these are all the waypoints that I mentioned in the, the, the red dots that are in the map. Um, they give you these pictures here to sort of go hand in hand with the different waypoints. So the forest boundary, here's the kiosk, the Vista, forest road, 7S10C, um, and another forest road, Coyote Creek crossing. So you know that there's a crossing here, as you, as you can see in the picture. So you can be ready for these things. And what's also helpful is that if you know you're supposed to hit the crossing and you don't, then maybe there's something wrong, you're not on trail, right? or maybe it's just dried up. I don't know, you're gonna have to use your best judgment, but um, these waypoints are really awesome. And I wanna show you a little feature up here as I scroll back up to the top to, this, uh, to the map. Um, if I'm wondering what this is and I click on it, it jumps me right to the feature. Pretty cool. Waypoint five is Forest Road 7S10C. So anyways, um, that's a quick little run through of the site and the things that I like about it. Um, oh, another thing that I like about it, which I, I wanted to do here for you guys, because it's part of this trail build, is nearby trails. So you'll see it's showing nothing within two miles, but let's say you were willing to drive up to 10 miles. Uh, there it is, Silver Canyon Road. So before I jump over, I wanna go back, I'm gonna download this GPX file. So let's download it. Clicked on it. Okay, it's downloading. Um, actually, I, I think I've already downloaded this, so it's probably gonna give me doubles, but that's okay. Doesn't matter, it's all the same. Nearby trails, I'm gonna go to Silver Canyon. And there it is, so, so here's Silver Canyon, and uh, it gives you the same information. Um, has the map here with all the different waypoints that it points out. Um, and again, it's gonna have the GPX file for download, which I've already downloaded, so I, I won't do it again. But uh, directions to trail, the highlights, the video I mentioned, it's, it's, these are great. It's a great site. I love the site, um, the weather. Um, okay, anyway, so we've already downloaded this trail, downloaded the other. Now I'm going to show you a, a, another site that I use, which is All Trails. All Trails is a great site. I really like it a lot. I started using just all trails until I found trails off road and then now I've used them both and I like them both equally. Um, all trails I can use and you'll see at the end of this video, I use it to upload everything I create so that I have it and download it to my phone and that way I can have it without any, uh, any reception. I can have my, my map in front of me. Um, what it doesn't do is it doesn't have tons of waypoints like the other, the other site, uh, Trails Off Road does. Um, but it's still a really good site. So here, here's a, a trail I knew, I know is in the area of the other two trails we just downloaded, which is Buttermilk OHV Road. Um, it gives you a quick snapshot of what it is. Um, it tells you what it's for, mountain biking, OHV, off-road driving, views, wildlife, it's rocky. Um, it gives you good information. Um, tons of reviews, right? So you can go through and see actual people's reviews and, and if there's current four days ago, then you can know what to expect as you're approaching the area. Um, some people, now this is, look at, here's an, a hiking review. So this is not just for off-roading, this, this particular site. So, you know, you're gonna get reviews from different types of people and that's fine, right? Um, more information, the better. You just have to know how to sift through it. And it will also, like the other, give you nearby trails Except if you don't have any filters in here, it will give you, for example, like Paiute Pass Trail here. I'm pretty sure that this is a hiking trail only. So if you don't want to see the hiking trails, there is an option to go in and set some filters and you can set it just for OHV or off-road off driving. Um, and then any, anything that pops up will only um, be to, to, you know, to what you filtered for. Um, however, the reviews don't filter out, so you'll still see hiking reviews or mountain biking reviews, but that's okay, it's no big deal. Um, so anyways, in here, I wanna show you, this is really cool. I'm gonna, uh, in, in the more option, it gives you an option to download route, and I wanna show you here, when I hit download route, 
in here, it's going to give me, uh, it, it defaults to GPS track, but look at all of the options it gives me. Garmin, GPX, Google Earth, um, you know, Magellan, there's, uh, Just, I don't know, there's too many options, I think. But, you know, it's it's good because if you're using different types of equipment, then then maybe you can find something that works for you. For me, a simple GPX track works perfectly. So now you would hit download. I've already downloaded this, but you hit download and it downloads to the bottom of the screen like anything else. I'm gonna cancel because I've already downloaded it. And now I've got three trails downloaded that I wanna um, go and explore and build a, build a map for. So now I'm gonna take you guys over here to Google Maps. So we're going to click on Google Maps. And in this menu here, if you select that, you can go down to your places. And this is where anything that you want to build or have built before will reside. So your places. Um, screen changes just a little bit. Um, now, I'm just going to jump over to Maps because that's what we need to see. These are the different maps I've created. They've, they're already here. Um, I'm not going to show you. I'm just going to show you how we create the maps. So you, you guys, it's really intuitive. You guys can figure it out. Um, create map. I'm going to go down here, hit create map. Screen changes. And here we have now just a map of the United States. What we're going to do is start building our map from here with what we've downloaded. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import. And I'm going to import just one by one so you guys can see what happens. Um, so I'm going to select a file and I'm going to go up here and I downloaded this twice. So I'm just going to select the Coyote Valley Road. Um, okay, now we're going to let it do its thing and Google Maps is going to drop the trail, the GPX file in here for you. I love this. This is great. It keeps the, the waypoints too that we got from Trails Off-Road and every waypoint is over here. So you can, you know, here's the trailhead to the boundary, to the kiosk, etc. And as I scroll through, you see the different highlights of the different waypoints. Um, so anyways, so once you've done that, I want to add a layer because we're going to be layering the different GPX files we've, we've downloaded, which is the whole point of this exercise is to have one map with everything on it. Um, so now I hit that and now it gives me again. So it's the same process. Import, come back over here, select a file. I've got my downloaded files. I'm going to do the buttermilk OHV route. It's going to do the same thing and now it's going to start layering. Boom. Now I've got the buttermilk loop on this side and this is the Coyote Valley trail on a uh, road on this side. Um, now you'll see the difference is again, like I mentioned a little bit a few seconds ago is, is all the waypoints, they stay with the trails off-road map or the GPX file. Um, this particular one doesn't have much of, uh, as far as waypoints go. Um, some, some will, and some, you know, most won't on the all trails site. Um, but that's okay. It's no big deal. Um, okay. So now we're going to do it a third time. I have to hit add layer because I need a third layer for a third map. And we're gonna go down here, import the third trail that we downloaded, which was the Silver Canyon. So now we're gonna go from two to three. And there we are. So now we're starting to build and layer our map. Um, again, with all of the waypoints, right? Tons of waypoints. And there are different ways that you can get rid of them and how you want to export and import stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into that. That gets a little bit more technical, but um, I think the waypoints are a good thing, so I leave them in there. So, we've got three trails on here now. Um, and, and you know what? Here, here's a cool thing you can do while you're building your map. Um, if you're like me, the places you start to go, th go to, uh, you know, you start going Sort of what we've done is we've started sort of local, and I say local, but I mean talking two, two to three hours. But if you start going four, five, six, seven hours away to start exploring and hitting trails, you're using tons of fuel. So as you're using fuel, you know, you're going to want to gas up before you hit the trail for more driving. So what I do 
right here in this in this place is, is I'll search for gas station. Now I, I already searched plenty of times for gas station, so it, it was already in there. Don't click on any of these. What you want to do is just hit gas station and hit the magnifying glass to search, and it's going to search for gas stations in your view. Close this so you can see. So now in this map view, we've got all these gas stations in the green dots that have now uh, these green um, drop points. So it's awesome, right? I mean, different things you can look up. You can look up for coffee, you can look up for hospitals, you can look up for grocery store, you can look up for, I don't know, whatever you, whatever you think you're gonna need, um, you can look up in here and find the closest that Google Maps will give you anyways. And, and you can start to um, drop them into your map. So for example, um, this one here, I'm just picking whatever, this is a Chevron. So this particular Chevron, let's say I wanted to build it into this map. I'm gonna click on it and it gives me some details about it. Um, it gives me the, the actual address and if I wanted to view in Google Maps, I can and it'll give me a different page to view. But what I wanna do here is I'm gonna add to map. So that has gone from green to blue because it's now hard, but hard coded into the to the map that I'm building. Um, I can hit remove if I want to get rid of it, but I don't. I want to leave it there. Um, and now I'm going to close this little box out. Now, when we export this map at the end of this video here, this gas station is going to be part of the map. It's going to be a drop point. So it's not going to be part of the trail. The trails are over here, right, and over here. So this is not on the trail, but it is hard coded into the map. So that way we know where to get gas. And it's right in between all of, this, all, the, all of the sites. So if I started on this trail, on my way over, I know I can hit these gas stations or this gas station, whatever. So um, I like that feature. So, and to get rid of it, because I've got this search going, just hit X out that gas station view. And now all of the green drop points are gone and just the one that I saved is there. Um, again, you can do that for hospitals. You can do that for vets. If you travel with your pet, you can do it for groceries if you, you know, don't have time to stop and you need to uh, get some groceries on the way out, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is how we're, we're dropping and layering all the maps in now. Okay, so um, an important thing to do is here we're gonna, we're gonna actually, before we go on further, I'm gonna name this. So I'm just gonna name it Coyote, just to keep it simple. Uh, Coyote. So there's, I'm naming it Coyote, I'm gonna hit save. And now the, this is named Coyote. So now when I go back into my view for all of my maps, I know which ones I'm looking at. Um, a very important step here to get to the next step is that we have to hit share. And it's gonna give you this. It's gonna say you can add people uh, if you want to. I'm not going to do that. You can get a link and you can drop the link in. But one of these things that says restricted, only people added can open with this link. I don't want that. I wanna change to anyone with the link. Okay, so it's done it. Got it. Um, that's important because if you don't do this, then the next step is not possible, which is we're going to take this uh, Google Maps and we're going to convert these into a GPX file that we can then upload. So I'm gonna say done. So now we've got this um, ready so that anybody can view it. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to highlight up here the HTTP address, right? So Control C. So I've highlighted it and I've copied it now. And now I'm gonna take you to the next site that we use, which is GPS Visualizer. So here's GPS Visualizer. This is how I take the different maps that I've downloaded and I've layered them now in, in Google Maps. Um, and now I want to put it into a single, a single file, uh, one GPX file. So what I do is come into this site and I'm going to go here if not plain text, cause we need GPX. So I'm going to click the GPX, uh, dial there. I'm going to come down to here. It says provide the URL of a file on the web, which is why we had to make it available to everyone. So that, so that we can come in here. And these are all the different ones I've dropped in already before. So, but if you don't, if you have it as a private link that nobody can access unless you invite them, then this site won't be able to access it. So you have to make it available to everybody. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna paste it, and I'm gonna come over to convert. Okay, 
Okay, now it's working. And boom, your data has been converted to GPX. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, you can right click here. So to it, you want to obviously you want to download it to your hard drive. You want to give it a more sensible name because it, it gives it this crazy, you know, digit and um, alphabet link. So just double click. I save link as, and I'm gonna call it, see how it comes up with this name here. I don't wanna call it that. I wanna call it Coyote. So let me take my other hand. So Coyote's in there and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. I'm gonna hit save. And now, there, I've got it. So now I've got a GPX file and let me show you guys what happens if you guys, uh, try to, let me just get, close this down really quickly because I wanna show you guys. So here's my, here's my GPX file. And if I try to open that, number one, there's no application set to open it. I can choose an application, but if, what's gonna happen is just gonna come up with a, a bunch of numbers and code that doesn't help anybody. That's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to open this particular file. What we want to do is upload this file. Okay, so we're gonna hit cancel. And I'm gonna go back to um, All Trails. So this is again where I said in the beginning, uh, I love the site because this is actually where I, I, I fit all of my trails into that I've just, you know, sort of um, customized. And then from here I download it so that it's on my phone. So let's just go over to plan and we're gonna go to create map. All right, so it says new map. Now we're gonna go to upload file. And this is, there's nothing here. So this is this is starting from zero as far as um, creating a map goes. Again, it's, it's just a map of where I am um, because it uses GPS information. Obviously it knows where I am in California. So it's a map of Southern California and there's no information. So I'm gonna to go to upload file and it'll say click drag, uh, click or drag and drop GPX, whatever other supported files. So I'm gonna to go to upload and I'm gonna to go to my desktop and I'm gonna find the GPX file we just created and I'm gonna double click that so it can start working on it. Um, so it'll tell me that it's full, yeah, it doesn't matter what size it is. I'm gonna say, Upload. Okay, now it's working on it. And boom. Here it is in my All Trails app. I'm sorry, site, because now I'm on the computer and you have to have the app as well for this to work properly. Um, so anyways, so here we are. This has now been built in one, two, three trails are right there. And this yellow, uh, if you click on it, oh, you know what, there it is. Uh, it, it, see, it's the Chevron. That's the Chevron, that's the gas station that we plotted just a, a minute or two ago. Um, but it's not part of the trail, right? Because the trails are over here. And here's some waypoints. The waypoints stayed in the map. I love it. This is awesome. See the different waypoints. So anyways, um, okay, so now you're in here and you've got your your uh, your map has been loaded, uploaded to All Trails Online. Now we're gonna go over to All Trails site. Let's do it like this, put it down. Um, so here we are. This is now on the app. So on the app, I'm gonna go down to plan, go to maps, and here's the map I just created. See that? So I'll click on it, and boom, there it is. And I can pinch it closed, I can pinch it open if I need to, it's in Bishop, I can see a lot of information. Um, and what's really cool, is if I, for example, I'm gonna pinch this open and I'm gonna click on this waypoint right here and then it'll tell me what that is, forest boundary. 
and I can slide over and I can click on the next waypoint and it'll tell me that's the Coyote Flats kiosk. All right, so now we're almost done. So now in here on my phone, I'm gonna say I wanna download and these options will come up. You definitely 100% want to use the All Trails map for download. So I'm gonna hit that and now it's downloading. Okay, and um, I'm not online. Let me put myself online here because um, it will go a little faster. It doesn't take too long to download once you, you know, um, maybe three to five minutes. Um, but if you're online, it'll go a little bit faster. And I'm just holding it here because I want you guys to see the green start to, to fill up. So it spins around like a dial really slowly. And once that green gets in a full circle, it's downloaded to your phone which means you have that trail on you even when you're offline, when you're, when you're so far out in the, into the woods or the forest or the desert that you have no more phone reception, this will still work. And it does have other options. You can you know download the road map, you can download the uh, topo map, satellite. There's also some terrain, um, uh, other options. I, I mean, I, I typically would just stick to the all trails map because it, I don't know. I mean, it, it's worked for me and it never let me down. So I just, I stick with what I know on, on, on this because um, ensuring a successful trip is really important to me, especially when you're have a group of 20 people with you in 12 different rigs, you know? So this is uh this is the map that I use, but you know, feel free to venture out and use some more. Um, anyways, while that's downloading, I'm going to go out and show you some other maps I've done on here, which is the Big Bear Trails. I've done a bunch of them. Um, and the reason I want to come in here and show you, look at all of these waypoints in this these trails I here. So the reason I want to show you this is I'm going to start to pinch it closed a bit, get a higher view. And now you see the blue dot. This blue dot is me in Los Angeles, right near Pasadena. I'm in Highland Park. And it, it knows where I am. And that blue dot, when I get to the trail, will uh, will put me right onto the trail, and I can follow myself along. You know, I just basically become a blue dot going all along the trail. And if I know I end up way out here, I know I've messed up, and I need to get back to the red. So that, in short, is how we build or how I build the maps that we use to go off-roading. Um, I'm sure there's lots of room for improvement, but it works really well for me. Uh, and again, when, when you download it to your phone, um, which this is almost done probably. Let's see. Yeah, almost done. See, it doesn't take that long at all. Um, once it's downloaded and it shows you a full green circle, you can lose reception and it doesn't matter. You can still see yourself on that trail. So... You know, it's, it's, it's how you know, you know you're going the right way. It's how you, you're able to stay safe. It's how you keep from getting lost. It's, uh, it's a good thing. So hopefully you guys have found this helpful and you guys can use it to create your own maps. And uh, if you guys have any feedback for me, let me know. Um, you know, it's a GPX file, so you can load it to pretty much any Garmin, any, any, any tool that uses GPS, um, you can load it to. You should be able to load it to. So... Hopefully this has been helpful again, and if you guys are out there and you see us with the Desert Pandas off-road crew, stop us and say what's up. We're not super popular, but we're cool people. You know, we'll hang out, we'll have a beer. Um, so anyways, safe travels. I'm gonna sign off now. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Later.